Hello, my name is Eric and I am one of the founders of Drash and today we're going to be talking about handling URL encoded bodies. So if we go to the documentation pages we can see that we have this call here that we can use on the request get body param and target a specific parameter and assign that uh, parameters value to a variable. So to get started we will be importing Drash, creating a resource, plugging the resource into the server when we create the server, and then running the server. So let's go ahead and import Drash. And at the time of this video, Drash is at uh, v1.0.7. So now that we have the Drash namespace, and access to it, uh, we can create our resource. We'll just call it my resource. And then we want to define the endpoints that clients can target to access this resource. I'll just make it slash. Um, since we're going to be uh, sending in body params, uh, we're going to be making post requests to this resource right here. So let's add in a post handler. And then to test that it works, we'll just do this response body equals hello. And then return that response. Uh, now let's create our server. Oops, uh, resources, and plug in our resource, and then, give me, okay, server run, Um, and give us some outputs. It's giving me some kind of error here. Oh, right. New. There we go. So now that we have our server and our resource, everything's plugged in, we can test it. So let's run our server. And now that it's running at localhost, we can test the post request. <clears throat> See if it returns hello, and it does. But the point of this tutorial is to use this call right here. So let's go ahead and copy that. Paste it here. We'll pass in a name. Restart our server. Um, so we're going to make a post request with um, a header of content type application form URL encoded and the data is name equals let's do my name localhost 1447 oops so we got hello because I'm still setting the response body to hello right here. So let's add in the name instead. We start our server. Clear this. And let's make that same request again. And I get Eric. 
So that's all there is to it. Um, handling form URL encoded bodies uh, requires you to access get body param on the request object and make sure when you make these requests that you pass in the header of content type application uh, form URL encoded. Alright, see you guys.